with some good news about the nation's fight against drunk driving. The Transportation Department says that fatal alcohol-related crashes have dropped 44% since 1982. But driving under the influence remains a serious problem, and unfortunately, there will be many accidents on the U.S. roadways in the days to come. Here's NBC's Tom Costello. Midnight shift in densely populated Fairfax County, Virginia. And Officer Pat Nolan is on the hunt for drunk drivers. Swerving, weaving, tailgating. The dangers of drunk driving on full display in Los Angeles recently when two drivers, both allegedly DUI, caused two separate accidents. Both were arrested. Nationwide, nearly 12,000 people were killed in alcohol-related accidents last year. 500,000 were injured. Out of the 1.5 million drivers arrested for DUI, 1 million were convicted. The risks are especially high at this time of the year, with more people out on the roads at night traveling to parties. State Trooper Justin Mahalik's encounters with drunk drivers became all too personal 18 months ago when one rear-ended his cruiser. With two broken bones in his neck and a broken rib, he still climbed out of his burning car and pulled his passenger to safety. I can't recall exactly if I was knocked out, but if I was, it was for a brief period of time, for about two seconds. In Virginia, this roadside sobriety test proved one driver was clean. But just down the road, it's not looking good, okay? handcuffs and a trip to jail. He told me he was coming from a work party. They had been drinking tonight. Um, at first, he wasn't honest about his consumption, but then after a while, he, he told me about five to six drinks. Across the country, a blood alcohol level of 0.08 is now the legal definition of driving under the influence. For a typical 170-pound man, that means about four drinks over the course of an hour. For a 138-pound woman, about three drinks. Drunk driving enforcement is probably one of the only times a police officer is going to be able to prevent a homicide or a death. Okay. Officer Nolan says every drunk who's pulled off the streets makes the streets safer. And somebody else's mother, father, or child is more likely to make it home safely. Driver, pull onto the shoulder, please. So night after night, the hunt for DUIs continues. For today, Tom Costello, NBC News, Reston, Virginia.